Handy Hill tonight here. Are you having problems with your Whirlpool filter, specifically your water ice filter? I'm going to show you seven common issues with this particular filter. Let's get into what those are. You'll find the water ice filter here in the upper right, the inside of this particular model of a Whirlpool. Some of them are located at the bottom of the refrigerator. So you just pull up on this door and that should release the water filter, which it does with mine, and I can just pull it right out. But with yours, maybe you're, it's not coming out at all. Well, a couple of things could have happened. One is you may have the wrong filter, and I'm using an every drop filter number one, and I have links in the description to different every drop filters. These are great filters that go well with Whirlpool refrigerators. Now, with these, with these filters, sometimes they can be put in incorrectly and you may jam it in, get it stuck. And uh, you wanna make sure to pay attention to these arrows because they correspond to the arrows here. So you wanna make sure that they're facing up when you put the filter in. See how they're lined up like that? And then it just pushes in, the door closes like so. Now, a couple of other issues with it being stuck is, could be because of your water. And a lot of water varies around the country and some water has more minerals in it and can have a lot of buildup. And what happens is the water, the minerals in those water can build up in and around your filter and cause it to get just lodged in there. And also another factor is water pressure. If your water pressure is too high, you may have trouble getting this out. So I'd recommend unplugging your refrigerator before you attempt to take the filter out. Even try to dispense some of the water out before you t attempt to remove the filter. That can help as well. If those still aren't enabling you to get out your filter, another thing that you can do is you can actually take a towel or in this case, a washcloth and we'll open this up again. If it's not coming out, you can try to just grab hold of it with, with the cloth to give you a little bit more grip or something to give you more grip and to try to pull it out. I, I would not recommend trying to pull this out with pliers though. If you'd like to try that, I don't endorse it and I'm not, uh, I'm not responsible if something happens, if you break the filter off but that could be something that might help you in your situation. But again, I wouldn't endorse that. I would try to turn off the unit. Uh, and before you do that, dispense out extra water just to get that water pressure off of the uh, filter and see if that comes out. Another thing that you can do if you're having a really hard time getting out the water filter is you could remove this housing. There's just a couple of screws taking off this light cover and then removing this housing that will give you much better access to what's going on back there and maybe you can see what's keeping your filter from coming out and just giving you a better view of what's going on. The second common issue is that your water filter leaks and this could be related to the fact that you have the wrong filter, the wrong type of filter in there. Again, uh, make sure to look up your model number for your Whirlpool refrigerator and match it up with the correct um, genuine filter or the every drop filter that I have um, so that you can ensure that it's not going to leak. Another issue can be related to these O-rings here. These O-rings are what seal uh, this into the unit and if these O-rings are damaged then that can cause it to leak or if your filter itself is cracked so you want to inspect it to make sure it's not cracked. And again, the water pressure can play into this. If you have too much water pressure, I'd recommend turning that down or getting that adjusted by a professional so that it doesn't leak anymore. The third common issue with water ice filters in these Whirlpool refrigerators is that it won't, the, it won't dispense. Now, one thing with the dispenser is you need to make sure to get all of the air out so that the water will dispense properly. Um, but even before that, I would check to make sure your controls are not locked. And on this particular model, the lock feature is just this 
lock button and as you can see I can't use any of these buttons nor can you dispense water and this is a child proof feature so that they cannot come and be dispensing water and getting it all over the place or using other controls. You just press the lock button, hold it for three seconds. Now all the controls are unlocked and it will dispense water so that you can get the water that you need. Another problem with this that could relate to it won't not dispensing is a blocked water supply. So you wanna make sure to get that checked out related issue could be a faulty inlet valve. So you want to make sure to get that checked. Um, either you can check that or have a professional check that to ensure that that isn't the problem. An obvious issue with it's not dispensing is once you replace your, your filter, you want to make sure to flush out the water here and to get the air out of your system. The fourth common issue with these filters in the Whirlpool refrigerators is that the filter pops out. So you may put it in, maybe it will even um, mostly lock into place, but then the filter pops out. And this could be due to a couple of things. One again is high water pressure, and you can see high water pressure can relate to a number of these different issues, common issues with this filter. Um, another is wrong installation. Just make sure that you're lining up, make sure you're lining up these, this arrow with the arrows that are on the filter. Make sure they're all going the same direction. And another thing would be a damaged filter. If the filter is damaged and part of it is broken, it's not going to be able to stay locked in, especially um, with the faulty O-rings or just um, being able to lock into place. The fifth common issue is that it, the water dispenses inconsistently. Uh, one easy solution is just to make sure that you are dispensing out uh, a couple of gallons of water after you replace the filter. You can take uh, any sort of larger container and just begin to, to flush out the water to make sure you're getting out the air so that it will flow consistently. Now I've already uh, installed mine and flushed it so there's no air in my system but that could be why yours is, is dispensing inconsistently. A sixth common issue with these filters is the water tastes bad and that could be related to my the previous common problem is you need to filter you need to, you need to dispense a couple of gallons of water maybe even three to four gallons of water I know it sounds like a lot but you want to get out uh, you want to get out those initial air pockets, of course, but you also want to get out any sort of impurities, then see if that helps it to be able to taste better. And also, please change the filter at least every six months. If you let the filter go longer than that, then you may notice more uh, bad tasting water, and it's also not good for the rest of your refrigerator. The seventh most common issue is a filter light that won't reset. Let's look at the correct way of resetting it. On my particular model, it's very easy to reset. You just tap this options button, tap the lock button, which is below the filter reset, and then tap a, this measured fill button to confirm. It'll chirp to confirm that you've reset the filter uh, for the next cycle. Secondly, and it may seem obvious, but you may have the incorrect filter. It may fit in your unit, but it may not be the correct filter for the refrigerator and the refrigerator may not reset properly because it's not recognizing it as a correct filter. So there are seven common issues related to the water ice filter in a Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. Let me know in the comments below other questions that you have related to these, maybe other issues that I overlooked which could enable me to make another video in the future. Questions that you have, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, share it out, subscribe to my channel for more tips like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.